Welcome, amazing one. And let's solve this beautiful equation. It's so easy. Relax. And don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comments. Let's do this together. So we're going to begin with our solution. Now to solve this, just quickly, we know that 9 and 27 can share a common base. 9 is 3 multiplied 2 times, which is 3 squared. 27 is 3 multiplied 3 times, which is 3 cubed. Applying it here, we are going to have 9 to the power of x multiplied by 27 to the power of x is 36. So we are going to have, this is 3 squared, is raised to power x multiplied by 3 cubed, is raised to power of x is equal to 36. Now remember at this point, for every a, to the power of m raised to power n is a to the power of m multiplied by n. Now this is going to multiply to have 3 to the power multiply. You have 2x is multiplied by 3 to the power of 3x is equal to 36. Now at this point, you just need to remember for every a to the power of m multiplied by this is a to the power of m plus n. Multiplication comes to addition of the powers. So you see that these two bases are the same. So obeying this here, we are going to have 3 to the power of 2x. Then we now turn this to addition. We have 3x is equal to 36. Keep solving. 3 to the power, add these powers, you have 5x is equal to 36. Now what we need to do is to take the log of both sides. So we have log of 3 to the power of 5x is equal to log of 36. Now remember, for every log of a to the power of x, the power always multiplies the log. So this is what we have. Now if you apply this rule here, we are going to have 5x is to multiply log 3, which is equal to log 36. Remember your target is x. So since they are multiplying to get x, divide both sides by 5 and then log 3. You do same here. So if you do that, this takes up this, this takes up this. So we have x is equal to log of 36 divided by 5 log 3. Do you intend to leave it at this point? No, it's not yet simplified. Now, this 36, you are going to simplify it. We know too well that 36 is the same as 4 multiplied by 9. And this form, as we have said, 4 is the same as 2 multiplied by 2, which is the same as 3 multiplied by 3. So if you apply this on this, we are going to now have x is equal to log of... Now, you see that 2 appeared 2 times. So it's going to be 2 squared multiplied by 3 squared and it's divided by 5 log 3. Now remember quickly, for every log of A multiplied by B, it's always log of A plus log of B. Now we're going to apply this rule on the numerator. So if you do that, x is equal to log of 2 squared plus log of 3 squared divided by 5 log 3. Now, what do you do? We are going to use this to divide each of these logs. And to do that, also for you to have watched through this point, it shows what you do interesting. Don't forget to give this a like. Let us know what you feel about this class in the comment. Sharing it helps algorithm to send to more people that need this skill. Thank you. And if you are still new, Hit that subscription button. Let's keep doing this to have x is equal to log of 2 squared divided by 5 log 3 plus log of 3 squared divided by 5 log 3. Now remember we said the power multiplies the log. So it means x is equal to 2 log 2 divided by 5 log 3 plus 2 log 3 divided by 5 log 3. Now, what did you observe? You observed that these two are the same, so we take them off. These are not the same. So remember, at this point, if, if whenever you have, for every 
log of A divided by log of B is always log of A base B. So we are going to apply this rule to simplify this. So if you do that, X is going to give you 2 over 5 log 2. This turns to base 3. Then plus this will give us 2 on 5. And this gives us the simplified value of X. Now we're going to plug this X value on the left side to see if that gives us 36. Let's do this verification together. That is the most interesting part. And to do that, we have to verify, we are going to have nine, our X is this. So we have two on five, log two base three, plus two fifths, then is multiplied by 27, two on five, log 2 base 3. Let's adjust this. So we have plus 2 on 5. Now we want to know if this will be equal to 36. Now what do you do? Remember what we said earlier. For every a to the power of m plus n is a to the power of m multiplied by this. So we're going to see that this is of this form. So we want it to be in this form. So if you do that, we are going to have 9 to the power of 2 on 5 log 2 base 3. This addition sign at the power turns to multiplication. Then we have 9 to the power of 2 fifths is multiplied by 27. Do same here. So we have 2 fifths log 2 base 3. Addition sign turns to multiplication. We have 27 raised to the power of 2 fifths. Keep simplifying. So we now have, remember we said 9 is 3 squared. So we have this raised to the power of 2 fifths log 2 base 3 multiplied by 3 squared raised to the power of 2 fifths is also multiplied by 27 is 3 cubed is raised to the power of 2 fifths log 2 base 3 is also multiplied by 3 cubed raised to the power of 2 fifths. Now, what do you do? Remember also what you said, a to the power of m raised to the power n is a to the power of m multiplied by n. So you multiply the powers. If you do that, we are going to now have 3. This multiplied, remember this is over 1. So you multiply 2 and this will give you 4 fifths log. 2 base 3 is multiplied by, this is over 1, this will give you 3 to the power of 4 on 5, is also multiplied by, now do same here, this is over 1, 3 we multiply 2, so we have multiplied by 3 to the power of 6 on 5, log 2 base 3 is multiplied by 3 to the power, this is over 1, multiply this, you have 6 on 5. Now, what do you do next? Just remember, for every a to the power of log of b base a, this is always equal to this number b, provided that these two bases are the same. So we're going to apply this rule on these ones to help us to simplify. And to do that, we're going to have, looking at this, you observe that the coefficient of this log is 1. But what we have here is 4 fifths. So remember, we also said that the coefficient of the log is the power of the number. So in that case, we are going to move this to be the power. So we're going to have 3 to the power of log of 2 to the power of 4 fifths base 3 multiplied by 3 to the power of 4 fifths is multiplied by 3 to the power of log of 2 base 3. This becomes the power. So we have 6 to the power of 2 raised to the power 6 on 5. And this is multiplied by 3 to the power of 6 on 5. Now, what do you do? You see that this is now this one. And since these two bases are the same, we are going to have 2 to the power of 4 on 5. For simplifying this, is multiplied by 3 to the power of 4 on 5. It's also multiplied. These two are the same. 
So we're going to have 2 to the power of 6 on 5 multiplied by 3 to the power of 6 on 5. Now we're going to gather these two together and these two together to have. Doing that, we're going to now have 2 to the power of 4 fifths multiplied by 2 to the power of 6 on 5 is multiplied by 3 to the power of 4 fifths is multiplied by 3 to the power of 6 on 5. Now, also know that the two bases are the same and they are multiplying, so add the powers. So you have 2 to the power of 4 on 5 plus 6 on 5 is multiplied by, do same here, 3 to the power of 4 fifths adds to this. So if you simplify, you have 2 to the power. Denominators are the same, so add this to this to 10 divided by 5 is multiplied by 3 to the power. Add this, you have 10 divided by 5. So if you simplify this, we are going to have this device, this gives you 2 squared is multiplied. This will give us 3 squared. And 2 squared is 2 multiplied 2 times to give us 4 multiplied by 9. And when you multiply 4 by 9, it gives you 36, which is what we have at the right side. So it means that the value of x we got as 2 on 5 log 2 base 3 plus 2 fifths is absolutely correct. And I hope you learned something. Don't forget to tell us how much. i also be curious to see your own method in the comments. Thank you for always choosing to learn through us. And don't forget to like this video. See you in our next class. Bye-bye.